All right, I'm going to do a video for the window stickers because um, I know these can be problematic if you don't know what you're doing. Now, I'm going to put mine on wet basically because if you put it on dry, the second it touches the screen, that's it, it's staying, it's not moving. So I always use the, the wet method. Um, so this is, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. So make sure the screen's nice and clean. Get any little marks off of it. Where you're going to put the sticker. I've already pre-cleaned this, but you might need to get some Windex or something on it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure up where the sticker's going to sit. Now, these aren't cut perfectly. It's just cut freehand. So I've marked the corners of the stickers, and they're going to be my, my reference point. I'm just going to get a little bit of um, masking tape on the corners just so I can roughly see it up there and see, uh, see how far off we are. Helps if you're taller than 5 foot 7. Or if your car's not as tall as mine. Alright, that's miles off. Alright. Um, I'll get the ruler. We'll measure the height about 35 mil. So that's a fair bit less. Now I want this sticker relatively high. So I'm going to move that up. We've got about 20 mil there. Bring this one up to 20 mil. Like so. All right. So now measure the distance. In. So got 115 and that's pretty much dead on actually, that's not a bad effort. So now I'm actually going to make some reference points to where this needs to sit. This bottom edge here. There's one reference point. And the corner. So that's my corner reference for there. Same on the other side. Alright, so basically that's my reference for um, actually laying it down on the screen. So we'll take that off. Alright, now comes the tricky part. Especially on a hot day like today. So you need some kind of soapy water mix. Uh, very mild mixture. I've got um, also using a soft detergent like a, a kid's Johnson and Johnson's baby thing rather than washing up liquid helps and you literally just need, I don't know what the ratio is but I literally put oh, half a teaspoon full in there. Give it a good shake. Wet your screen through. Like I say, on a day like today, it's going to dry up quick, so you might have to really, really go for it. 
also helps if your spray bottle's good. Rather than this crappy thing. Alright. So now, so gently peel the backing off, making sure all the letters stay on the um, the other side of the adhesive. So nice and gentle. If it starts to peel the letters off, just stick it back down and try again. That came off pretty good. But now we need to drench this one as well. Again, a decent ball helps. This one's useless. Also an assistant help helping would be a lot better. Alright, so now we need to stick it on using our original reference marks. squeaky things comes in handy and basically just gently push all the air and all the water out also helps if you don't have a 35 inch tire hanging off the back of your car So because I used the, the front window sticker on the back, I've cut the side pieces off. Um, I'm probably going to put them down here, one either side maybe. On the front you can leave them on, you can cut them off, you can swap them around. You can basically do whatever you want with them. Uh, but the main thing is obviously getting your measurements um, from the get-go. So all I'm going to do now is leave that for about five minutes just to, to dry off and stick to the window. Then we'll come back in five minutes and peel the, peel the backing off. Alright, so while we're just waiting for that to dry, I've, um, one of the ends that I've chopped off, I'm going to pop down the bottom here. These are very easy to apply. And you can literally put them on, take a step back, decide it's in the wrong spot, slide it around. Alright, so while that one's drying, we can um, crack on with getting this top one off. So because that's been sat in the sun for a while, we're going to soak that through and then gently peel it off. Alright, now that that's soaked through, we're going to peel it back and we're going to keep it as close to the screen as we can so we don't actually pull the lettering off. If the lettering starts to come off like that, get your squeegee. That probably means I've not left it long enough to dry. Squeegee it back down. And then try again.
them letters are actually starting to move so I don't think I've left that long enough so I'm just going to leave it there for now and come back in another five minutes or so It's easy as that.